if you start at the little black glob at the bottom left there, um, the users, they're, they're actually act, act, um, interacting with just a HTTP API. They send car files and car cars in this world are not automobiles. They are content addressed archives like, like TARS, but for DAGs and DAGs. DAGs are directed to cyclic graphs. This is all IPFS stuff. Uh, but what, what it means is that clients send car files. They create a DAG on the client. So they create that graph of data and the root CID on the client. And, and what that means is that they've, they've got that DAG and that CID uh, before it's sent uh, up to the uh, up to web3.storage. Um, and in this kind of trust us peer-to-peer -peer world that we're trying to accommodate, that's a really good thing. It means you can do other stuff with the CID whilst that data is uploading. So um, you might want to store that in like a, your um, app database somewhere whilst a big upload's happening. Or in the case of like NFTs, you might want to mint an NFT on the Ethereum chain using that CID and linking the token URI to, to that CID. So um, that's why that's useful. Um, so what we do is when we receive that data, we put it straight in our IPFS cluster, uh, and we also back everything up to uh, Pinata. You might have heard of Pinata. They're a, a popular kind of um, pinning service for um, IPFS. Now, the storage broker bit, this is where the interesting stuff happens. What it does is it grabs all of the CIDs for new uploads from our database. It batches up all of those CIDs uh, into little presents, little presents for the storage providers. Uh, they're actually car files. Uh, and then the storage providers come along and say, have you got a deal for me? And then the broker service will be like, yeah, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Then they take it and they'll do an offline deal. Um, and then it will be stored on Filecoin. Right.